So, hello everyone. Welcome to Identity in 15, powered by WS2 Identity Sub. So, I'm Dinali Davarera, a senior solutions engineer for IMWS2. So, this is our first episode in Identity 15 live YouTube series. So, today we are going to discuss about role based access control for third party applications using adaptive authentication feature in IAM. So if you have any questions, please put it under the comment section so that I will take them at the end of the demo. So why, why role-based access control? So role-based access control is normally used to manage tasks based on users' rules. So why do we need it? Because it reduces administrative work and it maximizes the efficiency. And it provides dynamic app development support as well. So WC2 Identity Server is free and open source. You can easily go to our website and download it and try this out. So in this demo, I'm trying out a scenario where internal finance application of an organization needs to control access by employees in the finance team only. So if the uh, employees are from outside of the finance department, the access should be denied. So let's see how you can achieve this with WSO2 Identity Server 5 Gen O. And for this, I'm using a sample application called Pickup Dispatch, which is available in our sample libraries. So all the links are below in the description. So you can go there and, and try this out. So let's get started. So for this, I'm having two users called Alex and Bob. So Alex will have finance manager role and Bob will have HR manager role. So in order to try this out, you need to have a WC2 identity server up and running. And so I'm first trying to log into the management console. So let me show you the users I have and the roles I have first. So before started, let's see the users. So I have two users called Alex and Bob. So when I leave roles of Alex, I can see he has the finance manager role. And when I go for Bob, so I can see HR manager role. So, um, so now what we have to do is we'll create a service provider. So this finance application in my case is Pickup Dispatch. So I'm creating a service provider called Pickup Dispatch. And so here, so my Pickup Dispatch application will be an OpenID Connect application. So my inbound authentication protocol will be OpenID Connect. So I'm configuring this OpenID Connect by giving the callback URL. So you just click add. Then you can see the client IDs and secrets are generated. So this pickup dispatch sample is a web application. So it will have a property file. So we need to update this property file with the new client IDs and secrets. So make sure you have two places to update. And uh, yes, so I'm, I have updated the client ID. Next I'm going for the secret. So there is only one place for the secret. So once we are done, what we have to do is we have to restart our Tomcat application in order to um, visible these changes. So my, uh, till my application is uh, coming. Uh, so I'm going to the same service provider configurations. 
So now we are done with the inbound. Now we need to configure the local and outbound authentication configuration. So there, so as I need adaptive authentication, I'm going for the option of uh, advanced configurations. So in the advanced configurations, you have the option to, uh, you have the place to uh, have the adaptive authentication. So here, if, uh, if you go to this adaptive authentication script, uh, script place, so you have set of templates. So from there, I'm taking the role-based access control template. Uh, so here in this template, so there are two steps. So right now in my scenario, I don't want two steps. So my scenario will be, I will, I will be having only one basic authentication step and I'm checking whether the particular user is having finance manager role. So if the user is having finance manager role, uh, what, uh, what it does is, so we first execute the authentication step one, which is basic authentication. So on success of that step, what we do is we take the user from the context and then we check whether the user has that particular role that I mentioned in this array. So in my case, if the role is not available, so what I do is I'm gonna send an error. So for that, we have a function called send error, which will take two inputs. So that inputs needs uh, a redirection, uh, the redirection page, as well as the error message. So you can see if you have any errors in the script, you get errors from uh, from uh, from our uh, the editor. So if so once you have done like once you have fixed errors, uh, so you are good to go, and you can update the script. And I think. So now I'm done with all the configurations. So I'll do a final update and now I'm good to go. So let's see how, uh, how my, uh, this configuration works with the demonstration. So I'm, I'm open up an incognito window. And so I'm, so this is my pickup dispatch application, which is up and running. So let's try logging to this application. So I'm first trying with the Alex. So this user has the um, finance manager role. So I'm continuing it. So here, um, so I'm getting the approval and I'm successfully logged in. So yeah, this is the success scenario. So let's try the, um, the failure one. So where you want to restrict the uh, the roles. So I'm trying the Bob. And yes, when I continue, so you see you get an error page from your pickup application that you are not allowed to log into the application. So we are done with the demonstration. So let's move on to the questions. So if you have any questions regarding this, so feel free to put up, put up in the chat and I'm going to take it right now. I think, um, so we have no questions at the moment. So in that case, uh, so that's it. So, 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 from this, you can see that it's really easy to do this a uh, role-based access control with the adaptive authentication feature of IAM within less than 15 minutes. So if you have any questions regarding WC2 identity server or adaptive authentication or anything, feel free to subscribe our Slack channel and ask them. So we are ready to help you guys 24-7. So the Slack channel is described in the below description. And let's meet again with another episode like this. Till then, 
Try our WSO2 identity server and let us know your feedback. Goodbye.